What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the Madden Ballers YouTube channel and our Cleveland Browns franchise. Welcome to the edited off season. I live streamed this a couple days ago. If you were there, thanks for coming. If not, here you go. We're taking a look at the off season. Drew Brees retires. Cameron Wake retired due to a career ending injury. Also, the Seahawks won the Super Bowl 29-26 over the Patriots, a rematch of Super Bowl 49. And here's a look at some other retirees. We had one free safety, Reggie Nelson. Some other big names, Jay Cutler, Fitzpatrick retired, Brandon Marshall, and Adrian Peterson retired as well. So some big names retiring this year. And then we're gonna move on to some franchise tags here. And I had some players in mind for free agency. But most of those got tagged. Vontez Burfitt got tagged. Mike Evans got tagged as well. Justin Houston got tagged. He was a guy big on my board. Here's a look at the guys we need to re-sign or talk about re-signing. Benito Thomas is back there as well. I think that's a bug in the game where if you try in the beginning of the season to re-sign, they're back here. So we're just going to say he comes back to the table. Sergio Hunter didn't really totally want him back, but he doesn't want much and he's young, so we offer him a small contract here. We go on to Chris, Chris Kirksey, middle linebacker. He's only 26. He doesn't want much. We're going to offer him a small contract as well. Charles Johnson, he had a down year. Didn't think we were going to bring him back, but I'm going to think about it here. Going to offer him just under three mil for one year to try to make this team, maybe as the third string guy. Ladarius Webb, he came up big in some situations here. He's a little bit older, but he has some good ratings. We're gonna make him an offer. Ricardo Matthews, he played okay starting at left end, but we are not, no, we are gonna make him an offer. Justin Gilbert, he came up big in some late season games. And we're going to make him an offer to come back. Don't want to give him four years. We're going to offer two years, 4.4 mil. See what he says. Terrence West, he's been a top 10, if not top 5 running back the last two years. He doesn't want much. That's not his true value. I value him between 15 and 20 million over four years. He wants five. We're going to offer four. Four years, 19 million, 8 million of that guaranteed and see what he says. Dante Whitner, he played good for us as well. He's getting older. He wants kind of a lot of money. Two years, 13.3 million. We're gonna move on from him actually because we have some other big contracts to talk about. Rolando McLean, middle linebacker, wants five years, almost 40 million. I value him somewhere between five and seven million a year. He wants eight. We're gonna offer him four for 34 million. See what he says on that. So he values himself a little more than we do, but we're willing to go there. Joe Thomas is back at the table and our offer isn't really gonna get better besides the bonus. We're just gonna lower the salary and up the bonus. So we're gonna offer him four years, 66 million with 24 million guaranteed and hope he takes that. If not, we can franchise tag him and see what happens. And finally, Joel Benito, left guard. He's young, he's good. He wants six years, 56 million. And Thomas, if he signs, I don't know if we can sign Benito. So we franchise tag him for 6.8 million. And here's a look at the guys that we either offered to and declined or we just didn't want to sign. Dante Whitner, Paul Kruger, Justin Gilbert, Matthews, Hawkins, Cousins, Greco, Foster, James, and Gathers. All not interested, but we get Sergio Hunter, Chris Kirksey, Charles Johnson, Ladarius Webb, Terrence West is coming back on a four-year contract, McLean's coming back on a four-year contract, as well as Joe Thomas, and we franchise tag Benito for one year for 6.8 to save some cap room. So we don't have a whole bunch of cap room left, 24.4 mil. Looking at some of the top free agents here, Jamal Charles, Jeremy Hill is in there as well. Matthew Stafford, I believe Vontae Davis is in there. 
we need some receivers on this team. We're taking a look at Brandon Cooks here. He's young, got nice speed, good route running, good acceleration. But also on the board is Devontae Adams. Not as good speed, but we have Charles Johnson back. He's got good route running, 99 catch in traffic. We are going to offer Devontae Adams a contract. He's looking for four years, about 27 mil. We're going to offer four years, 16 mil. No one's offered yet to him. We need some right guard help because Greco, we didn't re-sign him. So we're looking at J.R. Sweezy here. He's 29 years old, 90 run block, so not bad. He's looking for a four-year, about a little over, almost $10 million deal. We're going to offer him two years, about 3.5 mil. Hopefully, maybe he takes that. Paul Kruger, we let him go in free agency, and he wanted like three years, 14.4 mil. He wants less here, so we're going to give him or offer him a one-year deal for $3.5 million. Maybe he'll resign. We could use him. Strong safety is a need as well, and Eric Berry is here, but his ratings look like they have probably dropped off but we're going to offer him a contract see if he can make this team we also have Bakari Rambo already on the squad we're going to offer him just under two million for one year we sim ahead and Eric Berry is the only one that accepts our offer so we do have two safeties on this team now two strong safeties looking at our negotiations Sweezy still we're the only ones Devontae Adams we've got four other bids though we are the highest right now Paul Kruger we're the only one on him but he doesn't totally like the salary and the signing bonus so we're gonna up the bonus a bit here give him almost four million for one year. Devontae Adams, we are the highest on the board, but we're going to up this offer just to, to solidify our spot. We really need this guy to be our number two receiver behind Josh Gordon. And we also make an offer to left end William Hayes here. Offer him, what, about 2.6, 2.7, 2.6 million with a little bit of a bonus there. So we go ahead and advance, and Paul Kruger accepts our offer to come back to the Browns to compete for a spot at right outside linebacker. We look back at our negotiations and the other two teams for Adams have dropped out. They withdraw their offers, but we go back to the board here. William Hayes, the Jaguars are higher on us there. But we go back to Devontae Adams and we up our offer by a couple million, I believe here. We go from 17.25 to 19.25 million. Just, we really need to get him. He's our top target. We go back to J.R. Sweezy as well. The Eagles are ahead of us here, and we offer a bit more here. Not in the years, but in the contract. And William Hayes, we up our bonus offer to Hayes as well to see if that helps us at all with getting that the left in there. And we advance the next stage to see who we get and we do not get J.R. Sweezy or Hayes but we do get Devontae Adams there were some trade offers for tight end Max Sam but I'm not interested in trading him at all here is a look at some of the offers that top tier players got Jeremy Hill got paid Teddy Bridgewater got paid as well Jamal Charles got like 10 million a year he got more per year than Jeremy Hill who is about five or six years younger so we get our top target, Devontae Adams, and now it's time for the NFL Draft. We draft 27th, and here's a look at all our picks. One first rounder, a second, three thirds, two fourths, two fifths, a sixth, and a seventh. So we have some trades we can make with these picks since we have so many. And our the first overall pick is a wide receiver, Ryan, to the Broncos. Up next to the St. Louis Rams, or, well, the L.A. Rams in real life. Martin, a left tackle. The Colts here at number three take Sean Flowers. And the Lions at four. They are going to take a defensive tackle, Armstrong. And the Ravens in the AFC North take a left tackle, Hurd. And we move on to our first pick. We're taking a look at our draft board. And we don't have a lot of players up here that are first round talent or even early second on our watch list. We looked at our trade offers, we didn't like it. 
We're looking at center Wyatt White here, B plus run block, B pass, B impact, and we take him, and that is a good pick. Seven in true talent. He's got 89 run block, 84 pass, and 83 impact block, as long as 94 strength. We picked him up to move him to right guard, and that's what we will do, and we'll advance to the early second round here, and we're gonna make a trade offer to the Lions at 36, and they're gonna accept. We're gonna pick quarterback Caleb Ayers here, number 22 in true talent, and 80 overall. He's got 87 speed, 87 man, 83 zone. Gotta work on that tackle and play recognition. We gave up a third, a fourth, and our second as well to get him. So our next pick is at number 70 here. We actually have five picks in the top 100 and we need some defensive line help. And we're gonna look here at Mario Jeffrey, B plus pursuit there. He's an 81 overall, 17 in true talent, 84 speed, 81 hit power, 72 power moves, 81 finesse moves. That is an excellent pick, I think. Our next pick comes at 91, and we did look at trade offers, nothing we liked here. We're looking at a linebacker, Shamil Brandon, B plus pursuit, B tackle, B minus hit power. A good combine, and we take him at 91, a 74 overall, a good pick, 85 in true talent, 85 tackle. His power and finesse moves could use some work along with block shedding, but he's got good speed. Our next pick at 94 was actually traded away, so our, we're picking at 99 here, our fifth and final pick in the top 100. And we're looking at more defensive line help, and Angel Olsen was in the draft stories. He's got some good ratings there. He's an 81 overall, 18 in true talent, and we got him at 99. 74 power move, 84 finesse. Got to work on that tackle and the speed maybe, but an excellent pick. Our next pick here is not till 155, I believe, here in the fifth round. And we're looking at free safety. We need a backup, DeAndre McBride. He's got some good skills there, and we'll see how he pans out. Looks like a developmental player here, 65 overall, ranked 175 in true talent, 83 speed. Got to work on that zone at 70. Definitely have to work on that. Sixth round, we're looking at a wide receiver, Corey Lucas, B-plus catching. There was another guy we were looking at, and maybe I should have taken him. This guy is 65 overall, 171 in true talent. He's got 86 speed, got to work on that route running. 87 catching, though, so that is good. And we advance. Well, that was our, our other fifth round pick. Now on to the sixth round pick here, and we're looking at another cornerback. Jimmy Mason, B plus man coverage, C plus zone, and C minus press. We're gonna pick him up, and he's 144 in true talent. Get him at 187. That's a good pick, if not excellent pick, I think. 85 speed, 86 man on this guy, and 78 zone. Just gotta work on that tackle. We move to the seventh round here, and there wasn't hardly anybody left. No one on our watch list, so we take Clifford Redmond, running back, 217 in true talent. 62 overall, he will compete with Duke Johnson for a spot on this roster. He's got 87 speed, good spin move as well. So recapping our draft here, we start with center Wyatt White, and he'll be moving to right guard. And all these overalls have adjusted for our scheme. So, But overall, I think it was an excellent draft. I believe we got three or four players that were in the top 30 in true talent. Here's a sneak peek at our preseason schedule. Home against the Eagles, at the Broncos, home against the Jaguars, and at the Colts. So that will be in the next episode. All four of those games broken down into one episode. So I will be making some adjustments to the rosters. Wyatt White's moving to right guard, and I have already done that actually. And it moves his overall up to an 88 overall. So that is where he will be playing right now, slated to be the starter at right guard. Also probably make some moves on the defensive line as well and probably make some rookie or undrafted rookie signings in free agency once I advance to the preseason. I want to hear down below what you thought about the offseason. 
re-signing players, free agency, and the draft. What did we do right? What did we do wrong? What do we need to do different next year? Leave those down below in the comment section. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and share it. Hit that subscribe button if you're new and excited for the upcoming preseason and regular season of the Cleveland Browns franchise. And as always, you can follow me over on Twitter at MaddenBallers, and we'll catch you guys in the next episode.